Hi, my name is Kenny Chen, and I'm currently a PhD candidate at UCLA. I'll be presenting on direct ladder inertial odometry, a new lightweight LIO algorithm that generates accurate state estimates and detailed maps in real time. Aggressive motions from agile flights or traversing irregular terrain can induce motion distortion in LiDAR scans that degrade state estimation and mapping. While some methods exist to mitigate these effects, they're still too simplistic or computationally costly for resource-constrained mobile robots. To this end, we present Direct LiDAR Inertial Odometry, or DLIO, an efficient LIO algorithm that utilizes a new course-defined approach in constructing continuous time trajectories to perform precise motion correction. This is achieved through three main contributions, each of which contribute to increasing the overall speed, accuracy, and robustness of our algorithm. The first contribution is a novel course-defined technique for constructing continuous time trajectories throughout each ladder sweep. A discrete set of poses is first computed via nu numerical integration on IMU measurements, and continuous time trajectories between measurement samples are subsequently built to query each unique per-point descaling transform. For a better understanding of how this works, let's say we have a LiDAR sweep that begins at L0 and ends at L1, as indicated by these two axes. And during the sweep, the LiDAR senses a point on this orange box. However, because the sensor is moving and because the data is received as a packet of points rather than a continuous stream, this point is distorted. To correct for this, we first perform integration on IMU measurements found between L0 and L1, and this is reasonable because IMU sensors are typically much higher rate than LiDARs. This, perform this provides a coarse, discrete trajectory. Here we use a constant linear jerk and a constant angular acceleration motion model. From these discrete positions, we can construct continuous time trajectories using the initial conditions from each node up to the point's time. By doing this, these analytical equations are parameterized solely by the timestamp of each point and therefore this process is extremely paralyzable. This is important because point clouds typically contain tens or hundreds of thousands of points per cloud. Once we get the final deskewing frame, as indicated by C, we can construct a relative transform between the initial position L0 and the deskewing frame so that the point is finally corrected with respect to L0. We also propose a new condensed architecture for LiDAR inertial odometry which combines motion correction and GICP prior construction into a single step, and also directly performs scan-to-map registration without scan-to-scan. -scan. This dramatically simplifies the LIO pipeline and significantly reduces computational overhead. Whereas in a typical architecture, you have motion co uh, correction and prior construction in separate processes, and before scan-to-map, you have a scan-to-scan -scan alignment to retrieve a relative transform, we realize that both motion correction and prior construction require IMU integration, and by doing so in the world frame instead of the robot's coordinate system, we can do it in one shot. And as a result, this also enables us to completely remove scan-to-scan -scan and directly perform scan-to-map in the world frame, condensing the pipeline and speeding up the entire algorithm without a loss in performance. Finally, we leverage a new geometric observer which guarantees the convergence of our IMU propagation towards the LiDAR scan matching result. This is crucial for initializing the sensitive motion cor correction procedure and providing higher overall algorithmic robustness to external disturbances. Our observer is significantly faster than their stochastic counterparts, which is crucial for real-time processing on a computationally limited robotic platform. To demonstrate the effectiveness of our proposed motion correction scheme, we used the dynamic dataset in the newer college dataset collection, which contained highly aggressive motions with rotational speeds up to 3.5 radians per second. With no motion correction, you can easily see that the point cloud is highly distorted with the walls shifting around during fast motions. With partial motion correction, while much better than having no correction at all, you can still nonetheless observe distortion and misaligned points in the cloud. This is especially highlighted in the red box on top. However, constructing a unique transform in continuous time via our course defined method creates a more authentic point cloud than previous methods, which ultimately affects scan matching and therefore trajectory accuracy. 
Our approach is fast in that we solve a set of analytical equations rather than an optimization problem, as is the case in spline fitting. Our approach is also accurate in that we use a higher order motion model to represent the underlying system dynamics, which captures, captures high frequency movements that may otherwise be lost in methods that attempt to fit a smooth trajectory into a set of control points. Our experimental results using multiple benchmark and self-collected datasets demonstrate that our DLIO algorithm has superior localization accuracy, map quality, and lower computational overhead as compared to the current state of the art. Using the newer college dataset, DLIO is on average 12% more accurate and nearly 20% faster than the current state of the art. If you're interested in learning more, please visit our paper at the QR code here and feel free to contact me with any questions. Thank you all for your interest in our work and for watching this presentation.